Dear friends in Christ, welcome to Saturday of the seventh week of Easter. On this day preceding Pentecost, we wait with the apostles in prayerful expectation for the fulfillment of the Lord's promise. His promise to send an advocate, the Holy Spirit, upon his church. The gospel of today is taken from John chapter 21, verses 20 to 25. In the concluding part of the gospel of John, which we find here, while the public ministry of Jesus began with the calling of the disciples with the words, follow me, John closes his gospel with the same invitation. Peter had requested about the future of the young apostle. The writer of this passage, after he had been told by Jesus to get ready for martyrdom, and Jesus said to him, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. John here reports, that the message was misunderstood by others to mean that he will not die. But that, that was not really what the master has said. He however says that he has written as a witness to these things with certainty and his testimony is true. He also insists that there were many other things done by Jesus and which had not been recorded, saying that the whole world, were it a book, cannot contain his deeds in writing. Is it not foolhardy then, when people insist that unless something is in the Bible, they will not believe it? There were other things not written that had been passed on through tradition, and they are worthy of belief as well. Jesus told his disciples again, follow me does that not sound odd they have followed him all through his ministry until this time from his baptism in the jordan as was laid down in the selection of matthias to replace judas but still he calls them follow me the call of jesus is a daily call for us all believers and not Peter followed Jesus by preaching the good news and suffering martyrdom. John by preaching the good news and guiding the faith of others through his writings. What about you? How are you following Jesus? The witness of your life requires that you preach the good news not only by word but also by a good way of life. Do you give in easily to evil and sin? You crack so easily under pressure and conclude that it's beyond you to conquer your sinful ways. Jesus again invites you, follow me. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we know that you love us and died for our sake. Help us to die to selfishness and work at bringing your love and peace to all. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.